Welcome to story time. I'm Rainbow Emma. This is Stellan. Today he's a Cheers baby. He's got his Boston tourism outfit on. <laughs> um, so I want to remind you that if you're looking for books, if you're running out of books, um, there are lots of picture books on Hoopla and a good number of them on Overdrive as well. That's that's the one that you access through Libby. So you can continue to get electronic books from the library um, as we're closed. Also, if you look at the email you got this week from the library, um, and I'll put the link down below when we're done here, um, if you are a bigger kid and you are reading books, or if you're even a book who, kid who can put some sentences together um, about the books that are being read to you, we are looking for book reviews to put on our website. <laughs> Short, couple line long book reviews. So um, I'll put the link down there or look in your email and you can send those in. All right. Who has ears? <gasps> Stellan has ears. They're right there. They're good for listening, right, Stellan? Oh, uh, who has a nose? Oh, Stellan has a nose. It goes beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Who has a mouth? Oh, Stellan has a mouth. And you know what his mouth has? Six teeth in it. That's why he had the pacifier two days ago. If you were wondering, why does Stellan have a pacifier in? Well, his, his final of those six teeth was coming in, and it just felt better for him to have the pacifier in. And he's been such a happy baby since he broke through his front teeth. He might show them to you when he laughs uh, when I do the tickle songs. So look for his teeth. Um, who has a head? <gasps> Stellan has a head. Oh, Stellan has a head. Do you have hair on your head? Does your hair stick straight up or does it go down like mine? Who has a back? <gasps> Stellan has a back. Stellan has a back. Who has a chest? Stellan has a chest. Do you have a chest? Do you have a chest? A belly button! Do you have a belly button? Does it tickle? Do you have tickles inside your belly button? Do you have to let them out? All right. Blippi kisses. All right. Snuggle up together, babies in your lap. Snuggle up together and clap, clap, clap. Snuggle up together, don't you nap. Snuggle up together, tap, tap. We're working out together, baby don't stop. We're working out together, so hop, hop, hop. Snuggle up together, baby's in your lap. Snuggle up together and clap, clap, clap. Our rhyme is almost over, get ready to stop. Now our rhyme is over, so stop, stop, stop. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, give a hug. If you're ready for a story, give a hug. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, give a hug. And then clap your arms. If you're ready for a story, peekaboo. Peekaboo. If you're ready for a story, peekaboo. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story. <gasps> Peekaboo! I went away and then I came back. <gasps> Magic. All right. All right, we're going to do our first poem. So take the baby. All right. Our first poem is another one by Laura E. Richards. It's called Jeremy and Josephine. And it's kind of a fun poem because the rhymes are all things that the that that you could make up if this was your story. So if you're looking to do some stories for story week, you could look this one up and uh, fill in the uh, fill in the bits uh, later. All right. As Jeremy and Josephine were walkie talking on the green, they met a man who bore a dish of anything you wish. They stared to see the man so bold. They really thought he must be cold, for he was clad, though chill the day, in anything you choose to say. The man returned their stare again, and soon the story gives me pain, for he remarked in scornful tone, I'll let you manage this alone. And there was even worse to come, the man, I've been informed by some, inflicted on the blamest too. 
I'll leave the punishment up to you. This simple tale is thus, you see, divided fair twixt you and me, and nothing more I've heard or seen of Jeremy or Josephine. So if you want to make up your own story and you're having trouble with the characters in the beginning, middle, and end, there's your story format and you can decide what are the things that happened to Jeremy and Josephine in that story. So that's fun. All right. We've got a printer coming tomorrow or today. 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 So that means <laughs> that I won't have to have all my songs on a computer below the iPad where I'm recording this. That'll be nice. I can use my music stand again. All right. So this is another picture book song. It is based on Be Brave Little Penguin by Giles Andre. Um, and it's a fun one. Uh, so it goes like this. In the cold Antarctic sunshine where the icy ocean ends, a family of penguins with all their penguin friends. There were fat ones, there were thin ones, they were penguins short and tall. Little penguin Pip Pip was the smallest one of all. Be brave, little penguin, don't worry, I'm right here. Trust me, little Pip Pip, be brave and never fear. All the other penguins were out swimming wild and free. Little Pip Pip played alone, too frightened of the sea. Names like Scaredy Pip Pip echoed in his ears. He was sad and he was lonely. Pip, pip, la, 
laughed his mommy as she watched him with a grin. I don't know about flying, but oh my, you learned to swim. All of his friends all gathered. Oh God, that went away. Oh God. Then, then his friends all gathered. Then his friends all gathered round as Pip Pip landed with a bump. Said sometimes all you have to do is just be brave and jump. Be brave, little penguin. Don't worry, I'm right here. Just, just me, little Pip Pip. Be brave, brave, and never fear. Yeah. This is where paper will come in because my computer decided to try to update some software <laughs> right in front of my words. <laughs> Don't they know I'm live streaming? <laughs> I have a fun story to tell you about a play I saw. Oh! Somebody had projections and then the virus software updated. <laughs> Computers, it's, they're not like us. All right, baby, please. Okay. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain, and the itsy bitsy spider went out the spout again. But what about the great big spider? He's hairy. The great big hairy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big hairy spider went up the spout again. But what about the teeny weeny spider? What about him? The teeny weeny spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the teeny weeny spider went up the spout again. All right. If you are a jumper, please be ready to jump. If you are a sitter, please be ready to bounce. It goes like this. The popcorn is a popping, a pop, 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 pop. The popcorn is a popping, a pop, 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 pop. The popcorn is a popping, a pop, 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 pop. The popcorn is a popping, a pop, 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 pop. Sizzle, 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 pop. The popcorn is a popping, a pop, 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 pop. The popcorn is a popping, a pop, 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 pop. The popcorn is a popping, a pop, 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 pop. The popcorn is a popping, a pop, 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 pop. Sizzle, 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 pop, pop. The popcorn is a popping, a pop, 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 pop. The popcorn is a popping, a pop, 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 pop. The popcorn is a popping, a pop, 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 pop. The popcorn is a popping, a pop, 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 pop. Sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle, pop, 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 pop. Yay. The flying hands in the air open like a sun, float up like a jellyfish and be rim to run over your arms and onto your head, onto your belly and onto your legs. Eat wherever they go, especially cute little noses. The flying hands in the air open like a sun, float off like a jellyfish and begin to run over your arms and onto your head, onto your belly and onto your legs. Eat wherever they go, especially cute little noses. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, up the wooden rail. Quickly, quickly, very quickly, runs the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly, all around the house. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, the wooden rail. Quickly, quickly, very quickly, runs the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly, all around the house. Yay! Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And 
when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. He rode them to the left. He rode them to the right. And then he rode them upside down. Oh, what a funny sight. Oh, that's my hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh gosh. It's okay. Like, it's like a horse. <laughs> he's holding on. Yeah. The, you're not supposed to hold on to the mane. You're well, supposed to hold on to the rein. You don't have rein. Oh, so you hold on to the mane. I guess. On your unicorn. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Without a saddle. Yeah. Okay. Please take the baby. Okay. <laughs> because the Grand Old Duke of York's men had unicorns. They had unicorns. It's a magical, magical drill team. If you think that doesn't make sense, think about a strategy getting them up the hill and then down. That's dumb. And <laughs> going upside down. Yeah, like how is that going to win battle? Well, speaking of silly things, yes. this poem is called Disobedience by A.A. A. Milne right. and it is from uh, the uh, when we were very young and it's it's silly because it is about a disobedient mommy who is not following the three-year-old rules. James James Morrison Morrison Weatherly George Dupree took great care of his mother, though he was only three. Said James, James, James said to his mother, mother, he said, shall, has said, mother, he said, said he, you must never go down to the end of the town if you don't go down with me. James, James Morrison's mother put on a golden gown. James, James Morrison's mother drove to the end of town. James, James Morrison's mother said to herself, said she, I can get right down to the end of the town and be back in time for tea. King John put up a notice, lost or stolen or strayed. James James Morrison's mother seems to have been mislaid. Last seen wandering vaguely, quite of her own accord. She tried to get down to the end of the town. Forty shillings reward. James James Morrison Morrison, commonly known as Jim, told his other relations not to go blaming him. James James said to his mother, mother, he said, said, she, that said he, you must never go down to the end of the town without consulting me. James James Morrison's mother hasn't been heard of since. King John said he was sorry and so did the queen and the prince. King John, somebody told me, said, a man, said to a man he knew, if people go down to the end of the town, well, what can anyone do? Now then. J J M M W G D P took great care of his mother, though he was only three. J J said to his mother, "Mother," he said, "said he, you must never go down to the end of the town if you don't go down with me." Well, that's very silly. Of course, his mother can go down to the end of the town. She should, she shouldn't leave him at home alone. It's very silly. But you know who shouldn't go? A three-year-old. Three-year-old shouldn't go down to the end of the town if he doesn't go down with somebody bigger. All right. <laughs> that was silly. All right, my song. So this is a song inspired by the events and the events uh, of 2016 where two capybaras uh, that were supposed to go to the Toronto Zoo escaped into the park. Uh, one for three whole weeks and one for five whole weeks. And there were Twitter accounts that, that, uh, that pretended they knew what these capybaras were up to. My husband briefly became a capybara on Twitter. Uh, Listen. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we started writing this song, but we couldn't figure out what happened in the song. We only came up with the chorus, and we really, really liked the chorus, but we couldn't figure out what else happened to this song. So finally, I have written more of this song. This might not be the final version, but this is what we have right now, and I'm going to share it with you. And then I'm going to link the story about the capybaras escaping from the zoo uh, below so you can see what really happened. So it goes like this. I'm a happy capybara and I broke out of the zoo. You're happy capybara and you broke out with me too. Happy capybaras will take the world by storm. We're from South America. We hope Toronto's warm. The joke is that Toronto is further north than we are and it is not warm. Only in the summer. We met a pair of Canadian beavers, they're the second biggest rodent, we're the first. We asked them to join us for a swim. They said they swim at night time, turns out they're nocturnal and we're crepuscular, so we swam together as the light was getting dim. We, uh, happy Capybara and I broke out of the zoo. You're happy Capybara and you broke out with me too. You're happy Capybaras, we'll take the world by storm. We're from South America, we hope Toronto's warm. We rode the elevator up the CN Tower, the, salt, the tallest one on this side of the globe. 
below. We asked for a table with the best view. We ordered the vegetarian prefix menu. Capybaras are herbivores, you know. We had no money to pay when the bill was due. Because they're capybaras, where would they keep their money? I'm a happy capybara and I broke out of the zoo. You're a happy capybara and you broke out with me too. Happy capybaras will take the war by storm. We're from South America, we hope Toronto's warm. So we fled Toronto for Niagara Falls, though it's smaller than two waterfalls in South America. We got on the main of the mist. That's the boat there. Wore yellow ponchos. We're only semi-aquatic and look really good in yellow. So now we can check that off the list. It's not that much fun. We're the happy capybara and I broke out of the zoo. We're happy. You're a happy capybara and you broke out with me too. Two happy capybaras will take the world by storm. We're from South America, we hope Toronto's warm. If you're wondering how our story ends, this song is based on a thing that actually happened. We were finally both caught in the zookeeper's traps. We were both, we were caught separately in three to five weeks. We never did find out if Toronto stays warm. We wanted freedom, but they filled the traps with snacks. I'm a happy capybara and I broke out of the zoo. Happy capybara, and you broke out with me too. Two happy capybaras will take the world by storm. We're from South America, we hope Toronto's warm. Okay. <laughs> they probably just wandered around in the park and went for swims, but the beaver thing sounds likely. Yeah. I feel like the beaver thing actually happened. Well, what time of year was it? It was, it was uh, June. June? They probably took in a uh, Blue Jays game at the Rogers. <laughs> you know, retractable roof, first one in the world. Very cool. So. <laughs> they put out traps that were only open from 7 a.m. to like 8 p.m. because they didn't want to wake up in the morning and find raccoons in the traps. And because capybaras are crepuscular, which means they're most active, like your cats, are most active in the morning and in the evening. Um, they figured uh, that they could catch them yeah. during the day, and they didn't want to wake up with angry raccoons every night. <laughs> That's kind of my favorite part of the story. Yeah. Also, they they nicknamed them Bonnie and Clyde because uh, they <laughs> they were a pair. They, they were only I was gonna say six six months old. I'm gonna say they were like six yeah. months old. I'll post the story down below. It was really amazing. One of them had a little fedora. It was really cute. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four, five, do the five. One, two, three, four, five, do the five. One, two, three, four, five, do the five. Do the five, five, five. Step one, hands, wash them off. And step two, elbow, cough into it. Step three, face, don't you touch it. Step four, space, keep plenty of it. Step five, home, stay there if you can. Come on, people all over this land. We'll make it if we try. Do the five, five, five. One, two, three, four, five. Do the five. One, two, three, four, five. Do the five. One, two, three, four, five. Do the five. Do the five, five, five. Step one, hands. Wash them off. And step two, elbow. <coughs> Cough into it. Step three, face. Don't you touch it. Step four, space. Keep plenty of it. Step five, home. Stay there if you can. Come on, people all over this land. We'll make it if we try. Do the five, five, five. Do the five, five, five. Do the five, five, five. Yay! That's Brady Reimer and the Little Bad McCood. And, ooh, cool thing. If you're watching this today, Wednesday, tonight on his live stream, he's, um, if you go to his Facebook, little, uh, Brady Reimer and the Little Bad McCood, he's going to have an all lullaby live stream. I want to say it's at 7, but I'll link it down below. Um, all right. Five green bottles hanging on a wall. Five green bottles hanging on a wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there'll be, what? One, two, three, four, 
Four green bottles hanging on a wall. Four green bottles hanging on a wall. Four green bottles hanging on a wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall. If you have four and one falls, one, two, three green bottles hanging on a wall. Three green bottles hanging on a wall. Three green bottles hanging on a wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall. If you have three and one falls, you have one, two green bottles hanging on a wall. Two green bottles hanging on a wall. Two green bottles hanging on a wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall. If there's two and one falls, there's one green bottle hanging on a wall. One green bottle hanging on a wall. One green bottle hanging on a wall. And if that green bottle should accidentally fall. If one falls and there's nothing, what is there? There's nothing. There's no, there's no green bottles hanging on a wall. Zero green bottles. And you know, you can't just go out to the store and buy some more green bottles. You probably shouldn't during this time hang any on the wall. No, no, you shouldn't hang green bottles. You probably shouldn't hang green bottles on the wall just in general. Seems dangerous. Yeah, I mean, plastic green bottles, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. All right. If I could tell you one thing, this is what it'd be. You are loved, you are loved, oh, and you are loved by me. If I could tell you two things, this is what it'd be. You are strong, you are strong, oh, and you are loved by me. If I could tell you three things, this is what it'd be. You are good, you are strong, oh, and you are loved by me. But if I could say just one thing, this is what it'd be. You are loved, you are loved, oh, and you are loved by me. And that is Hella Blue, and Steve has given me permission to sing this on these uh, things. Um, he does live streams too. Look it up, uh, Hella Blue on Facebook. Uh, red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can make a rainbow, make a rainbow, make a rainbow too. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can make a rainbow, make a rainbow, make a rainbow too. Yay. Okay. I've got one last poem. It's very short and then we'll be done. Um, there's a milkshake. It's called Mud. And it's been raining lately, so there's mud. And it's by Polly Chase Boyden. Mud is very nice to feel all squishy squash between the toes. I'd rather wade in wiggly mud than smell a yellow rose. Nobody else but the rose bush, bush knows how nice mud feels between the toes. Isn't that nice? I like that one. All right, get your milk, cream. You pour a little milk, pour the milk. And you pour a little cream, pour the cream. You stir it all around. You shake it and you sing. Oh, one, two, three, four, milkshake, milkshake, shake it up, shake it up, milkshake, milkshake, shake it all up. Milkshake, milkshake, shake it up, shake it up, milkshake, milkshake, shake it all up. All right, milk and cream. You pour a little milk, pour the milk. And you pour a little cream, pour the cream. You stir it all around. You shake it and you sing. Oh, one, two, three, four, milkshake, milkshake, shake it up, shake it up, milkshake, milkshake, shake it all up. Milkshake, milkshake, shake it up, shake it up, milkshake, milkshake, shake it all up. Milkshake, milkshake, shake it up, shake it up, milkshake, milkshake, shake it all up. Milkshake, milkshake, shake it up, shake it up. A milkshake, milkshake, shake it all up. And then you drink it. Mmm, give me milkshake. Yay. All right. Can't give you stamps, and if I do bubbles, you can't pop them. So go ask your big person to do some bubbles, and I will see you Friday. I miss you. Bye.